Now here we have the integral of 3 cos 3x all over sine 3x minus 1 integrated with respect to x going from naught to pi upon 2. Now whenever I get an integral that's a fractional type, the first thing that I want to do is always check to see whether differentiating the denominator gives me the numerator. Why? Because if that is the case, it becomes one of these types that lead back to the natural log of the mod of the denominator. So, I'm not saying that this is going to be a natural log type, but we do need to make that check. So differentiating sine 3x minus 1 with respect to x, if I differentiate sine 3x, I do actually get 3 cos 3x. Differentiating the minus 1 gives me 0. So indeed, differentiating the denominator does give me the numerator. So if I put that integral back down again, what we can see now is that this is a natural log type. It's the natural log then of the mod of the denominator. And the denominator then is sine 3x minus 1. So we'll put that in like so. Normally this would end with plus c, the integration constant. But because we have limits here from 0 to pi upon 2, then obviously I've got to put those in. Okay, so we have the limits from 0 to pi upon 2. We now substitute the pi upon 2 in wherever we have the x. So we have the natural log then of the mod. Don't forget that. The mod of sine of 3 lots of pi upon 2. So that's going to give 3 pi over 2. Then we have minus 1 finish the mod sign and then minus then we put the zero through so we have the natural log of the mod of the sine of three times zero but that's going to be the sine of zero minus the one and then again don't forget to close the mod sign off equals now the sine of three pi over two is negative one then we have minus another one, so that's minus 2 altogether, and we have the natural log then of the mod of negative 2. Then we have this minus, then we have the sine of 0, which is 0, minus this one, so that's minus 1 altogether, and so it would be the natural log of the mod of negative 1. Now, the mod of minus 2 is 2, so this becomes the natural log then of 2. And the mod of minus 1 is 1, so that becomes minus the natural log of 1. And what this leads to is the natural log of 2 minus 0, because the natural log of 1 is 0, so that is natural log of 2.